Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my sticks, me to have my back because I have yours. We have a lot of unsure energy, but we have rapid fire. You've been planning uh, in your present moment. Page of Wands energy yesterday is history. Tomorrow's a mystery. The only thing that's real is the present moment. Two of Cups energy comes out, which it says perfect partnership, but this can be anything from love, from relationships, from you being creative. Um, but the unsure energy is the clarity that, you, or th that you're lacking or that you're unsure about when it comes to your rewards of you planning proper, proper planning, proper planning for something. I forget what it is. But anyway, so yeah, this is you setting boundaries and completing things. So you're unsure about, you know, being optimistic about uh, if you're strong enough to be able to go through this to plan and to have this perfect life or these happy things that you've, you've, you've looked at in the past. And so when it comes to the page of swords energy being here, this is you understanding that you feel uh, unsure, but you know, at some point you thought about it as clarity, but you're unsure about it if you're um, you're going to be able to to go through with it, uh, with the things that you're planning to do. At the bottom of the deck is judgment, the realization. The realization you have to have is understanding that the doubt, to doubt is not to believe. And at the end of the day, you have to believe in yourself in order for you to be able to get to a point of um appreciation to where you are and you have to look at the past and be able to say um yesterday is history the past tomorrow's a mystery you don't know what the future is going to bring the only thing real is the present moment and so the realization that you have to have is that if you want this perfect partnership perfect situation love if you want anything that you have to be able to get out of your head and stop looking at the past and stop trying to see potential in the future because you have to be able to be in the now which is you doing the work and knowing that the boundaries that you set today will help you for the future and also the dreams or the ev ev and adventure or the endeavors that you want to go after today you have to work on them but it take optim it takes you for to be optimistic and it also takes for you to um, recognize your strengths um, and that's just kind of it and sometimes when you go through these things in order to have the nine of Pentacles energy um, you have to understand that, you know, the luxuries, the, the, the financial independence and the self-sufficiency all starts within you. You know, you can have as many people on your side, but if you're not doing the work and if you don't feel some type of way, and if you're waiting for somebody to give you some type of accolades or some type of, uh, encouraging motivation, then you have to find different people, uh, that were in your life in the past, you know, that, that haven't motivated you from the past. So only you know what it is, but the doubt can come in uh, when you have to, when you kind of really sit down and be still and like, am I, am I able to do this? Will I be able to do this? And, you know, and go from there. This card tried to turn over. I'll look at it. Yeah, renewal and spark. So you have to be the one to renew your faith, your energy and things like that. Nobody else can do that for you. That's you activating your higher self and being able to say, you know what, I trust my intuition and I trust that I'll be able to do these types of things. And sometimes the, the triggers and the conflict and the disharmony comes when you're dealing with cold, detached people. And that's when you have to detach yourself from that energy comfort zone and get out of your comfort zone and stop clinging to the people from the past and energies from the past. I think I'll go ahead and... Um, Leave that there, the comfort zone. You have to get out of your, you, the realization is that you have to get out of your comfort zone and also stop clinging to the past energy. And that's by you believing and understanding where the triggers lie. And when you're dealing with certain types of energies, you know that these things are, these situations won't help you move forward. You have to be able to uh, believe and not to doubt and also set the boundaries uh, because this energy, these same energies of you, um, you know, going through all of the things that you need to go through that you're going to go through will cause you to feel drained. And, you know, the thing is, is that when you have, uh, you, when you are successful, nine, nine of coins energy, and you found out that there was the completion, you got the whole world in your hands. Remember that song when we were younger, but you have the whole world in your hands. Um, but the thing is, is that if you allow the negativity to, 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 
fall through or to go through, then you'll turn around and feel, yes, secluded and have to separate yourself in a different light. And sometimes separation is because of the triggers and then you become cold and detached and then you start to go and which is a good thing at some point because you start to uh to do some type of reflecting and realization and actual soul search and hermit energy and then you start to trust in yourself and realize that no man is your enemy no man is your friend every man is your teacher so no matter how much somebody sweet talks you the answer is still goodbye you know, and that's just kind of how you have to detach yourself and seclude yourself from certain situations. And as much as we don't want to do it, we have to. And um, that is for you to look at it, look at it and look at things from a different perspective and be able to. Yeah. Um, yeah. To not to really kind of see if this is, you know, the type of people that you're dealing with. Is this, you know, you activating your spiritual gifts or you're dealing with people who have a different state of mind or a different way of thinking that can cause them to be trapped and you to lose your, you know, to not trust in your spiritual gift. So again, thug and trap, this is one way of thinking. This is one way of thinking and one way of a person. Um, how do I want to say it? So here's the thing when we are very spiritual, so, um, crazy ex obsessed and won't let go. So, um, here it is. We're, we're very spiritual when it comes to how we are able to manifest things and how we see things and how we, um, you know, can activate our higher selves. Uh, yeah, not happy. But when it comes to somebody who only has one way of thinking, one way of thinking because of trapped uh, past energies or the way that they believe that, okay, um, a hierophant energy belief system, um, traditions not just traditions um like uh this is the only way that you'll be able to get out of the hood you see what i'm saying this is the only way by working 60 years this is the only way that you'll be able to do this they don't see anything but besides what they were taught so if they were taught um hood mentality if they were taught that you have to do this this way because this is the only right way well, you look at things in a different perspective from a higher elevation and you're able to manifest things for everyone else. But when you want to do it for, you know, meaning that um, praying for somebody, uh, praying for somebody's health, healing, um, praying for someone to be safe, uh, praying for people to get out of this bucket mentality or this barrel crab in a barrel mentality. But if you really understand the crab in a barrel mentality is the crab that falls back in the barrel is always trying to pull people out of the barrel or pull the other crabs out of the barrel and ends up getting trapped, if that makes sense. And so when you start to plan for different things and you want to take this old situation with you, well, you know, your creativity and the things that you're planning for, they don't believe in that. So instead of you, um, trusting in your higher self and setting these plans, you allow someone to get into your mental, which makes you not happy. And then when you decide to set the boundaries and say, you know what, goodbye, then they start to act crazy because, um, and nothing that they can do, sweet talking you is going to be enough because their cold detached energy of the lack that they've experienced or the lack of love, the lack of motivation or the lack of seeing the bigger picture or a brighter way, a better way is where you have to separate yourself and then you become the problem and you become the one who is just like um, the negative one when all, all in all, they were negative and you realize that you had to get out of your comfort zone because the crab in the barrel ba uh, mentality, if you keep going into that barrel to pull these people out, and see things from a rose color perspective and are you're confused you'll turn around and then the justice will it, consequences of your actions will be like okay well you fall in the barrel if that makes sense you know so you have to be able to go after your wishes your dreams and the things to make things make sense for you but consequences of your action the justice energy is you doing the right thing for yourself and not looking at things and being confused by how somebody sees things about that crab in the barrel. Well, you, you know, you, you did this and you didn't come back for me. You left me, but you had to get out of your, your comfort zone in order for you to have to do that and know you're not happy doing it, but that's just the way things have to be. 
So I'm going to clarify the page of swords, nine of coins, or the nine of pentacles, nine years it took for you to get out of this energy of trusting in yourself and working on yourself and the type of partnerships, friendships, situationships, or whatever it is, businesses, jobs, contracts that you need for yourself. So we're going to clarify the page of swords, the nine of pentacles, the world energy, the nine of wands, the star energy, and the strength energy all being unsure because you're afraid to step out on faith, justice energy, remember the consequences of your actions, star energy, you're afraid to go after your dreams, you know, and that's the reason why when it comes to this, you don't want to have, you don't, you're not having faith in yourself and your strengths. And so you keep questioning uh, whether or not you're going to be able to do this. And it's, you know, you're, you know, it's like, once you stop questioning that, and this is what you have to understand. Um, and I'll read what I learned when I learned tarot. Strength isn't always physical. Your patience, compassion, and gentle spirit is what makes you strong, not the sharpness of your words. At some point, it's just goodbye. No more sweet talking, no more trying to get somebody to understand why you need to do things for yourself, for your betterment. And so the page of swords energy is what we're clarifying. Comes out with the seven of coins, seven of pentacles. Yeah, planting the seed. And, and that's in the reverse. And um, also the seven of cups, possibilities, having options. So the seven of uh, pentacles in reverse is basically what it says is a lack of effort. It's you st being stagnant. So instead of you planting seeds, this energy is causing you to be stagnant when you know that you have Page of Swords energy, the clarity and the know-how to be able to do things and you're focused, you, you're, you're unsure because this energy is causing you to live in an illusion like it's not, you know, like um, you're, um, you, you, you might not be able to do it. What if you fail? Oh, darling. Well, what if you fail? Oh, but what if I fly? I think that's from Cinderella. Um, not Cinderella. Hmm. Okay, one of those ones. It, um, but anyway, the Nine of Pentacles, you know, you, you, you can plant the seeds. You can have everything. But, again, you can also, yeah, Two of Wands, uh, it says charting the course, course um, and it's visualization discovered. Get, get ready. Future planning. Consider your options and making the decisions for the opportunity. So you got to get out of your head when it comes to you thinking that you won't be successful. The world energy here, um, it's either there's a completion or, y you know, there's a lack thereof. And so the Empress energy, also the world can be you moving on. The Empress energy is that you have to see that you are divine feminine, you're a nurturer, you're a creator, whether male or female, you see the beauty in certain situations. And so the completion comes when you start to really see the beauty in you, no matter male or female. The nine of wands is normally boundaries. And also it can be feeling drained. That's why you're setting boundaries. But, you know, you have to get out of that situation to where you're just letting things drain you and learn to practice and to trust in yourself and manifest the things that you want. The magician energy is like willpower, it says. It says um, concentration, resourceful intellect, manifester, and influences. So you have to understand that the things that have been influencing you haven't been able to grow because they have certain attachments to um, the way that they do things. And now they're, you know, when you decide to move forward, they become crazy and think and, and put the blame on you. But you're doing something for yourself for your betterment because you try to do all of this for them. So we have the star energy. Um, the star energy comes out with the will of fortune and celebrating you celebrating union. So four wands energy and the will of fortune, you, it says things are beyond your control um, when it comes to this being in the reverse. And it says, you know, it's an upheaval and it's karmic lessons, but you have to reach a turning point in order to have that big push. And that's where you have to get out of the energy of the star um, uns being unsure and just have faith. But if you have faith, the, the unions that come towards you or the people that come around um, in the beginning, or excuse me, the people that come around and they have faith in you and everything that you want to do, well, that creates the perfect partnership, situationship, and relationships and business ships, whatever you want to call it. But it causes that and then it causes for you to recognize your strengths. And that is what, you know, the questioning, not being confident in a situation uh, when it comes to the judgment energy, back to judgment, the realization, and this is in the reverse, 
needing to step it up. And so this is where the strength card comes out at unsure because it's telling you that you need to step it up. Judgment energy here, judgment energy here. This is the judgment where you are now. This is you understanding where you, what you were clinging to and when you weren't happy and the realization. But this is you, the universe, saying that recognizing your strengths, you need to step it up for yourself. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the full energies. A free spirit. You are a free spirit. But you activate your higher self and understand your spiritual gifts of being able to manifest the things when times get hard or just understanding where your triggers lie and you can't be in that crab in a barrel bucket a bucket or barrel um, situation where you keep trying to pull people up that, you know, are going to keep pulling you down. And so the new beginning, setting out spontaneous adventures, idealistic uh, potential carefree opportunity in the unknown, even though you don't know what's going to happen. When it comes to certain situations, you have to take the leap. And um, it says, know that you know nothing. You don't know what the future is going to be. You don't know what the, I mean, you, you are fearful of the past. But in the present moment, right now, the only thing for you to do is to move forward and not to let this keep you stagnant. And if somebody else feels this way, uh, psycho, I'll, I'll clarify this, the psycho card. This card flew out of this one upside down, the chaser. You're not chasing this person anymore. And so this cycle energy, you know, um, crazy ex, obsessed, won't let go. You're not chasing this energy. I'll read it to you in the upright. Instead of trying to convince the other party of your worth, redirect that energy into the areas in your life. Trust um, in your life. Trust, relax, and be patient and surrender. So that's what you're doing. And so this is where all of this crab in the barrel bucket energy. Yeah, at one point, this, none of the things that they said moved you, but you have to say the affirmation. None of these things move me that you're doing. And so I have to be able to do the things for myself. Yeah, and awaken your fears, a passing soulmate, and break up. So that is where you are. You had to say goodbye and break up no matter what. You know, the cold, detached energy is where you had to realize that this is not something that I want to be a part of. So it says, the, this time there is no going back. You're reclaiming your self-worth and beginning uh, the healing process. And that is you trusting in yourself, your spiritual gifts, and there's no going at back. You don't have time for the triggers, the detachment, the coldness, the crab in the barrel me mentality, and then they want to be crazy because you decide to go and so search for the things that you want out of life. And so you're just moving forward and saying goodbye. Bye, bye, baby. You know, no more sweet talk, none of that, you know. You know that's from a narcissistic type energy of them sweet talking you, and then after that doesn't work, then they become crazy. Um, the bottom of the deck is hidden feelings. So it says they could be in denial or trying to control the situation by suppressing their feelings. Until they release the need to control, these feelings will build. And so that is where they have to come out of their comfort zone of just this, this stagnant energy, and you are going to have an awakening energy and the passing soulmate is here. Um, your worst fear are, are being awakened. Your worst fears are being awakened, such as rejection, abandonment, loss, commitment issues, and bringing out all the skeletons hiding in your closet. So again, it's not necessarily skeletons. It's you knowing that you, you spent so much time doing the crab in the barrel bucket that when you start to turn around and really see and you around people, like-minded individuals who support you, then you turn around and you look at things. And then the past and soulmate. It says sometimes soulmates don't last forever. However, they will teach you and leave you forever change. Don't try to hold on to them once it's over. And so that is why you're saying goodbye. Is because you're not holding on to things that you can't change. You have to take a leap and learn from the past energies. But that's you trusting in yourself. So this person taught you how you know they taught you all this energy remember no man is your enemy no man is your friend every man is your teacher this person place thing or situation was here to teach you a lesson and that lesson wants to learn to let go and to let go and let god but to also take care of yourself and do the things that you want to do and that all relationships are not like this or situationships always do your best express your own divinity it says you don't need the acceptance of others you don't need knowledge or great ph philosophical concepts you have the right to be you and you express your own divinity by being alive and by loving yourself and others and so this is who you are 
Don't let no one change you. The only thing that you should be changing is how you don't believe in yourself, the lack of growth that you've had from the past, which caused you fears and stagnation. You're going to be able to move forward and go from there, if that makes sense. So I'm going to pull from the crystal deck and then, um, yeah, Am Amazonite. Yeah, the Amazonite. The crystal deck, and if you want to know my perspective of the crystal deck, I'll put the links and also the four agreements up above. It says um, heart chakra and throat chakra, expression, inspiration, and balance. Expression, inspiration, and balance. And it says my senses are in tune with my surroundings. My senses are in tune with my surroundings. So now moving forward, you'll know that when you start to feel some type of way, it's about the present moment, not about the past, fears, not about the future, which you don't know and you're not sure. You're going to know where you feel, how you feel at this moment, and you're going to say what it is that you want to say. No more chasing situations. No more trying to get, you know, everybody out or let everybody come with you because you can't. And so you have to be awakened by this energy and trust your intuition. So let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.